Hey, what's up, guys? It's your friend, Fasted. Today, I just want to give you a little update on my uh, old school, mid school BMX collection. You guys remember the uh, GT that I had on one of my other videos. I uh, just did a couple little things to this one. I changed the uh, seat post now to a laid back chrome seat post. I think it looks much better than just the uh, straight, you like that? The straight up and down one. I uh, still need the GT coin decal on there, and the only other thing I did was put the blue grips on there, because they had black grips on. Yeah, I just think it looks uh, much better this way. Dun, 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 dun. And then the next one that I picked up was this sweet 92 Robinson. Uh, I love these things, man. Robinsons look really nice, I think, and uh, chrome, and of course, you know, they're red, white, and blue logos. So I went ahead and... Uh, Put the white tires on there, the white seat, white grips. Getting all pimped out. Uh, I wound up switching out the uh, handlebars. I kept them and put them on another bike, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, polished up some goodies here on the uh, neck and stuff. But uh, I think it came out really nice. Uh, I got a white seat on there right now. Right now, this is just a padded one, which is good for riding on your buns. It's nice and comfy, but... <laughs> I got a uh, hard plastic one coming in because they just look so much better. But yeah, man, this thing's really nice. The chrome and the frame are all in really nice shape, man. Uh, I got it pretty cheap on good old Craig's latest. And like I said, I brought it home, polished up the chrome. Um, didn't do much else to it. Put a new set of rear brakes on it. Like I said, the tires, um, white grips, and the seats. Still waiting for a chain to come in. I got a uh, white and chrome chain coming in, and this bad boy will be done. And then next, we have the dyno. I don't know if you guys remember this or watched my other video uh, of me tearing this one apart and what it looked like beforehand, but I'm actually in like a little uh, bike build-off on BMXMuseum.com. Uh, and so far, man, this thing's coming out pretty nice. I uh, tore everything down. I ripped off all the uh, decals, um, just tore the whole complete bike apart. Maybe I'll show you a couple of pictures at the end of the video. But uh, And then I sent out the frame, fork, handlebars, and chain wheel. Got all new uh, powder coating on them. Got a new uh, um, seat post. Um, got some other goodies in here. Uh, like I said, the new seat which is another one of these padded ones, but uh, getting the hard plastic one on the way as well. Um, I don't know, basically, if it wasn't uh, crappy, I just renewed everything on the bike, pretty much. <laughs> Had it powder coated or all new parts and polished and everything like that, new grips, new brakes. Um, I still have to do some more little things. Uh, I had to pull this one off to put the brake lever on, so uh, I'm waiting on another set of red grips to come in but yeah man uh, new pegs uh, black powder coated um, wheels but I kept the uh, hub silver and just the spokes are black so now we got the black and red wheels as well but yeah man I think it came out pretty nice so far got a couple little more things to do and she'll be done anyway and then the latest one was the hutch baby so uh, <laughs> yeah Anyway, this is the one I took the Robinson, I put the Robinson bars on here, but I have a brand new um, Hutch chrome bars coming, chrome handlebar coming in. So uh, I think that'll look really nice because this frame, the chrome frame on this one is in really great shape, man. No, you know, re-welds or rust or anything like that. There might be a, a couple little spots of surface rust on it, but I mean, nothing that you can see at all. It just, it looks fantastic. This one I'm going to go all out with. Um, I got new, de new decals coming in, original decals, like I said, the new uh, Hutch chrome handlebars. Uh, I got new tires coming in because these things are horrible. But uh, I'm going to polish up these wheels or get them chrome plated, one or the other. And uh, new tires because I'm going to do the uh, uh, black with the tan gum walls on it, you know, try and keep it pretty much original. New chain, new seat. Uh... I think that's about it, but yeah, guys, this is going to be a sweet one. Always wanted a hutch as well, so uh, new pedals, of course, but yeah, man. So there's the little uh, collection so far. Um, I'm out here on the back porch. It's just too cold in the garage right now, but uh, 
yeah, obviously, as you can see, the uh, carpet here, I just threw this thing down so I didn't have to worry about getting grease and oil and all that crap. So this worked out perfect. Just threw a little, uh, I don't know, maybe $50 piece of carpet back here. So like I said, it's still kind of comfortable to sit on and work on the bikes. But don't have to worry about making a sloppy mess. But yeah, it's not bad back here. I think it's a little 8x10 or 10x12 space, but good enough to, you know, set up some tools and my spare parts and all that good stuff. Still got some more frames sitting around as well. Uh, mongoose frame, good for parts, man, the handlebars and the bottom brackets and good stuff like that, the stem and neck. But, uh, yeah, man. Got the little dino blaze up there. <laughs> Uh, me and my son are gonna uh, build this one up. It's in pretty good shape as well. The chrome is really nice on it, but not a prized bike or anything like that. But so it'll just be fun for me and my boy to build together. Oh my crap! We leave a back porch. Anyway, guys, there's just a little update how things are going and some of the uh, new bikes in the collection. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated on the builds. If anybody would like to check them out. Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.